What's up YouTube, it's your boy Mauricio here with another review and today we're going to be looking at New Age H35 Cyclops, also known as Shockwave. But before we get into the review, let's take a look at the accessories. So he comes with an open palm for his right hand, very well sculpted. It just pegs in like every other New Age figure. He comes with his little blaster of himself. Very well sculpted. He also comes with the stand, which is pretty cool. I'll show you how to work that later. This is for his uh, alt mode when he's in gun mode. His pegs just right in the middle. And then he goes on here. I'll show you that when we get into alt mode. And I believe this is for robot mode. I don't really use these things. I don't even know where this sticks, to be honest. With you. Oh, here, look at that. There's a port right in there. You peg that in there. And then you figure out how you want to display them. And there you go. But I don't use that stuff. But you have options, and options are good. So that's all he comes with. Not much for a, a new age figure. Now, our boy Aaron reviewed the EX version of this guy. Go check it out. Uh, I want to review this guy just so you can have some options. See which one you like better. And, you know, I think he looks good. You know, all... Our fellow, uh, my fellow uh, collectors will tell you that I'm a big uh, Magic Square advocate, but this guy, he's pretty cool, man. He's pretty cool. Love his paint job. He's completely painted. Let's take a look at this guy. He's got, uh, I, wish his, I wish this was painted, his eyes, but whatever. It is what it is. Head's painted, nice blue in there. Ears are painted gray. He can look up a little bit, not much down. He can go all the way around. Let's see, <clears throat> his chest, nice translucent plastic. Details inside, looks good. His arms, can go out that far. He's on a universal right here. He can go up that much if you want all the way around well let's use this one because this one has the hose all the way around it's got more than 90 degree elbow bend bicep swivel wrist rotation he has waist swivel come on focus Ab crunch. This is the this is the thing I like about New Age that the flaps are individually like each side is individually articulated as opposed to the Magic Square that's just one flap. But you know whatever beggars can't be choosers sometimes. You know all this is painted pretty good. Thigh rotation. He can kick up that far. He can kick back that far. And kick out that far. 90 degrees. And he's got toe tilt up. Not much really down. But he's got a nice rocker of the toe, not of the foot. But it's more than you need. He cleans up very well. It's pretty cool. Nice paint job right here. That peg is sore on the eyes but what can you do so pretty good so size comparisons here's our boy and my usual suspect 
Hasbro Legend. Let's get into transformation. All right, first what we're gonna do is move the arms out of the way and grab my trusty tool and flip these out on the backpack. closer here flip this one down this will slide down all the way revealing the little scope then you can take out the whole barrel which is pretty cool how it hides in there pretty cool open all this up we gotta push the head in mine for some reason likes to scrape this so you gotta be careful I don't know maybe every everyone is different this you're gonna go all the way out on this part you're going to pop these out and make them flush. Little tabs that just like fillers. Make them nice and flush. There you go. That sits like that. And then the arms, make sure they're like at attention. And then just on this hinge, go all the way up, like so. Same for the other side, all the way up like so. So now you got that going on. But before you do anything, you're going to want to get this part right here. It's going to tab into each part in the arms right here. So you're going to fold that. Come on. So it looks like that, it just tabs in, and then the two arms tab together. You're gonna wanna have your fist this way. That way this can just cover it up, and then just tab in, and then you have that done right there. Boom. Now for the legs, I find the legs more enjoyable than the magic square. Uh, they're pretty uh it's pretty fun transformation to be honest let's put this split the legs all the way down come on all right so you split them open and you're gonna hinge them out like so you're just gonna turn the toe in And then you just do the same for the other side. Leave that for a little bit. Just open, hinge out, rotate, turn the toe in. And then you can just peg them together. Right there, boom. Then you can just slide it in you'll hear it click in then you can tab the feet together which will create the handle like every shockwave we know and then this little flap right here you're gonna rotate rotate it like so whoops like so so it's and you're just gonna close it down so it's nice and flush. There's a peg here, it's gonna go into that leg. Same for the other side, peg. And there you have Shockwave in his gun mode. He's pretty cool, not bad. I mean, yeah, he has some spots like uh, Aaron described, you can see the peg right here. You know, there's a big gap right here. But, I mean, it does a job. It's pretty cool. And for the stand, which is pretty cool. I like this accessory. Uh, it's pretty cool. It fills up this gap right here. Let's spread this open. And then 
you just slide this in, you're gonna see it's shaped like the way this is cut, so it'll just slide in. And just peg that together. And you just push in, and you can have them displayed like so, like so, or like so, which is pretty cool. So that's what he looks like. He does have a light up feature. I'm sorry to mention it earlier. I'm sure Aaron went, you know, through a thorough detail about the whole light thing. Um, I'm never going to use it. It's not my, my, my shtick. But he has it. I think it lights up his chest too when you put the barrel inside his chest, which is pretty cool. But I'm not going to do all that nonsense. Um, so yeah, he looks cool, man. He looks cool. And for some size comparison, here's our Hasbro Legend again. Now let's get him off the stand and do a reverse transformation, I guess. Grab the tool, slide that baby in here. this over to the side you're gonna want to untap here and tap here flip this up fix this accordingly how it was and let's get that out of the way you're gonna pull back on this just stick on a slider and you're gonna unpeg and you're gonna take out the toes Then you're gonna accordion this back in and rotate it down. And then that just pegs together, same for the other side. You're gonna accordion that in. Then rotate it down and that pegs in. And the legs are done. More or less, hold on. Peg, peg. I still don't like that peg there. Sorry, how to point it out. Now we're going to take this part out, flip this down, unpeg the arms, fold them down, rotate the wrist, Damn, these joints are tight, well, that's my bad, then we're going to Pull this out really fast and flip these tabs back in. That's one, that's two. Make sure they're nice and flush. Then we're gonna pop out his head. Make sure that's nice and flush up here. I'm gonna close the barrel and just push that in there. Boom. Then this just folds. The barrel, uh, the scope is going to sit right under the barrel. And this square right here is going to hook in there. So you got to, like so. And then that tab hole is going to go in that tab. Same on both sides. Boom. Boom. And he's all done. There you go. That's the review for uh, New Age H35 Cyclops, also known as Shockwave. Let us know what you think. Do you prefer the original or do you prefer the EX? Maybe you prefer the Magic Square. You have plenty of options out there. So let us know what you think. Till next time. Peace.